Code along blog. Code along blog. All right. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we've been making an Angular app. Uh, it's a shared calendar. And the last thing that we worked on, I believe, is um, flushing out this uh, event view page. Um, so let me just throw it up real quick, and then uh, we can take a look at what we did, and then continue on from there. All right. So uh, I'll throw a birthday party in there. Yay. It's the birthday, birthday party. 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 And uh, it's at uh, 1 a.m. until 10.01 p.m. On wow. May that, is, that is a long party. Okay. Yep. So when you click on this event, now you're taken here. And we just kind of took that add event dialog and just like plopped it into this component. Um, and so now I think we want to just flesh it out. Um, yeah. So does here's a question. Does this actually work? Mm -hmm. So if I change the time to go I, to 4 1 a.m. and this I stage, bet it does not. It does not. OK. Not only that, because... it doesn't seem to be displaying the right times. Oh, so, I thought we fixed that. I guess not. Oh, OK. So let's take a look. Um, see if there's any errors in the console. Looks like there aren't. Uh, OK. Yeah, the, I think the reason why it doesn't update is because the update logic was done in the uh, the dialog. Or not the dialog, but the, the whatever launch was the dialog. OK. Yeah. OK. I wonder if we want to change that. No. I guess, I guess it is a totally different component now, so it doesn't really save us anything. Right. Hmm. We don't want to make it a shared component, do we? Uh, what do you mean shared? So, like, initially we were using the, this, it was a modal, and we were using mm -hmm. it for uh, add and edit. But now okay. we split it into a modal for adding and then a, like a page for viewing. Um, and so that was in order to make it so that um, viewing somebody else's event would be easier. Mm -hmm. um, but do we want to reuse the actual contents of that modal? Probably not, right? I guess we don't really no, a whole lot. Yeah, because I think the view edit page is going to be a lot more intense, like a lot okay. more involved. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. So we have uh, stuff in there that says, like, if you're the owner, then you could edit stuff. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it's just like a view scenario. Okay. Yeah. So um, maybe let's just uh, pretty this up a little bit, I guess. At, at some sure. point, we're going to have to decide what we want to do about these rollers here. Yeah. But, uh, they don't look so good. No. Well, what is, are we, uh, in theory, we're using material design, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we should probably use something like that. I'm sure there's something in there that talks about time selection. Okay. But, yeah. uh, okay, so let's take a look at this guy. We've got a view event component here. Um, in the ng on init, we are grabbing the event specified that the uh, specified by the ID from the uh, params, the route params. We set okay. the calendar event. We um, set this is owner flag. We have a save event that sends you to the dashboard. I don't think we want to do that anymore. We do want to update, but we don't want to go to the dashboard. Right. Um, we probably want to update current event, right? Yeah, you're right. So like when do we get the, the new stuff back from the server? Yeah, I'm sure we do. OK. All right, um, initiate, delete, cancel, delete, delete event. All right, I guess if you delete the event, you probably do want to go back to dashboard. There's no yeah, cancel sure. anymore. Nope. All right. So Actually, is there? I think the button is still there. Yeah, but we want to get oh. rid of it because you're not really canceling yeah. anything. Right. Although there, we could add a back button. Yeah, we could do that to make it a little clearer. Yeah, so let's let's just change this into a back. Sure. Um, cancel. Conf 
confirm delete. Okay, so that stays the same. Okay, so <clears throat> why do the dates not come in correctly? Uh, so they are moment dates, oh, right? right, 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 right. Yep, we're passing in start date and end date, and then inside of the time selector, um, we've got. I think a, they should they should already be moments. Yeah. So here they're declared as a moment, and then we we looked in the service, and in the service they're moments. Yep. Are they actually? So... Being converted to moments, though. I thought I thought we converted them in the service. So if you go into the calendar event service, uh, was okay, it, there's uh, a the get event. Yeah, it's like on line thirty-six. That should be doing it for us. Thirty-six. Yep. No, okay. I guess I don't need that. <clears throat> okay. So let's uh, let's debug this and see what's going on. I think we like added we added this uh, convert thing here um, to the get call, and then we never actually got around to testing it. It could be. I thought we did, but you're probably right. Okay. I mean, it's obviously not working, or something's not. Okay, so I'm gonna just put a breakpoint in here in the ng on init, and then I'll put one in the service as well. Mm -hmm in the get, actually in convert. Okay, <clears throat> so I'll refresh. Okay, so we're in the convert, presumably from the end of this get. We've got a calendar event, we've got a end date, and we've got a start date. And those are both strings. Mm -hmm. So now the start date is a moment, okay, and the end date is a moment. Okay, and result has two moments on it, looks good. And then we get in here, calendar event. It's a calendar event with two moments on it. Okay, so let's go to the time selector, oopsies, oopsies. <laughs> time selector component. And in the ng on a knit, so our input date is a moment. Okay, so that's and good. And the time is 505 Zulu, which uh, is like that. Uh, six off. Mm -hmm. So, I never remember. I don't remember either. All right. Next one. We've got one that's 505.09. Oh, that's the day. I'm an idiot. Okay. <laughs> the date is 505. The yeah. time is 9.03. Yeah. Um, so uh, five hours ahead, or rather, we are five hours behind. So, right. Okay. So then for our time, that, that first one would be midnight mm -hmm. at 5.05. Okay. Then this would be 4.03. Okay. I think that sounds right. Yeah. So... Actually, it doesn't. Because I thought you said you it was like from 1 a.m. to 10 p.m. Oh, did I? Um, I don't remember if I updated it. We could check the database, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. All right. We have two calendar events. I only remember one, but one must be for someone else. Uh, no, I think one is from last right? month. Oh, you're right. Okay. So, oh. Okay, right. So, zero o'clock. Um, is that zero? Okay. To 4.03. All right. So, what happened here? So, the the date is coming in correctly. Can you look at the uh, the network real quick? I want to make sure that the timestamps, the strings, sync up with what we see in Mongo. Okay. Start date, 000, or wait, 500, end date, 903. These are all... So that's, that's already incorrect. Is it? I don't think so. Because in, in my database, it's local time. 
the minus 500. Oh, that's right. So it adds five to it. Yeah. Wait. Hmm. Yeah, because we're at minus five. So to get back to Zulu, we add five. So this okay. uh, 403 becomes 903. And the 0000, 0, 0, 0, 0 becomes five o'clock. Five a.m. Okay. So then the moment times are correct. Yeah. Okay. So it's just not converting it to the right like roller here. Huh. Which is strange. Um uh let's go look at the the template then. Yeah. I wonder if Oh, is it using like the shadow time or something like that? Date that format hour. Did we set the hour? Yeah, we did set the hour labels. Oh, that's the time selector. Uh I'm thinking like go look at the view template, the view event oh, template. Okay. No, the template, not the component. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll get there eventually. Yep. Calendar event start date, and it is calendar event. Okay, yeah. well. Huh. Minute. So, so we've got all these swipers. And it's populating the hour array and minute array. Yep. Or it's printing them. And then. The index is did, date that format. Um, did we uh, determine the time selector component? The, the date for that is correct? Um, I thought so. Yeah, because we, we breakpointed in here. So okay, yep. The so then, what the heck? Some change time. So then, where do we actually set it? Like, how, how is it setting those, like, uh, choosing the, the, the dial? Index. Okay, that's right. So, so the index. Um, let's breakpoint it again. Okay, so we should be able to see this, that date, that format, H. I think it was. Okay, that was capital H. Uh, it probably won't make a difference, but might as well be consistent. Zero. Right? Okay. It's, oh, is it breaking because it's at zero o'clock, which isn't like a real time? Is it a real time? Yeah, it is. Let me just open every program on my computer real quick. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, zero, zero hundred hours is midnight. But there's no zero hour. Right, that but that's the, the index. No, because oh. the index is uh, zero, which is 12. Oh, okay. Should be 12 a.m. Okay. So what's wrong with the second one? I feel like it's kind of weird that it started off at 101. Like, if the index is zero, it should have started off at... 12 o'clock. Zero. I wonder if okay, we have so a I defect think, in the I think time this selector. is correct. Zero, zero. Yep. What about the minute? I'm assuming that's also zero. Actually, what is... Um... Is the problem that this is a string? No, I I don't think so. I, why would it be a problem now? I don't know. Cuz I, I thought this was working before. I thought I mean I, in the modal I thought it was. I don't know why it would be different. Yeah. I mean, we could try converting it to a number. Yeah. So 4 So be 4 a.m. Yeah. Four oh three. Four oh three. Okay. So let me look at. I guess this is it because we don't have a config. Do we have a config? 
I thought so. I thought all that oh, was okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was encapsulated. Okay, so um, what does this look like in the modal? Let's like breakpoint it there and just look at the mm -hmm. So I'll make a new one. Set my breakpoint again. Yeah, see it, what's really weird is that it's selecting 101 a.m. by default. It really should be 12 yeah. a.m. Yep, you're right. So did uh, we update dependencies or something and something broke? It's possible. Huh. OK, so this is, oh. Oh, it's like bugging. I wonder if we should just bite the bullet and change the dials. <laughs> I mean, Maybe. I feel like we're spending a lot of time on this. Yeah, you're right. I mean, as cool as they are, I just, in the end, I, I really don't think that uh, I like the, the look of it. I don't either. Uh, OK, so let me just really quick uh, see if there's something on like material design time. Uh, Picker. Oh wow, that's nice. What? This clock thing? Oh, are are you looking at no. what you're looking at or you... No, I'm looking at sorry, I didn't even I wasn't paying attention. Uh it's like a, a, a circular clock. Let me uh I'm gonna post it in the chat real quick. Okay. It's in the uh, Twitch chat. Oh, okay. Then yeah, scroll down. Uh, actually, you have to click on one of those envelope icons. Okay. Uh, basic example. Yep. Oh, okay. I like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fancy. Yeah. I like that. So this is MD Bootstrap, which okay. we're not using, unfortunately. <laughs> Well, so, I'm fine with totally switching over to Bootstrap because I actually kind of like the look and feel of Bootstrap over Material. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, this is this is Material Bootstrap, I think. Like MD Bootstrap is Material Design using the Bootstrap oh, framework. Really? Oh. Yeah. Mm, okay. Right, but it's bootstrap still, still is... using the Bootstrap framework, right? Yeah. So I I actually don't know if this is even compatible with Angular. So that's the oh, other thing too. Okay. So yeah, maybe I shouldn't have sent that to you. <laughs> I don't want to get your hopes up. <laughs> Interesting. Um. All right. Yeah. So on the uh, oh, here's here's the same thing basically in uh, Material mm -hmm. UI. Okay. I don't think we're using that framework. Nope. That's too bad. Like they should, they should have had it so built what in. Are we using? Uh, I think we're just using straight up material, like Angular material. Okay. But uh, so if we want to switch to a different framework now, that's going to be kind of. It, it might be big or it might be small. I don't know. I don't think it's that big actually, because we got rid of the oh. login form, because now we have uh, Firebase. It's true. So I think all we're using it for is that modal, maybe? Sure. Yeah, we could try it. Um, let's see. Actually, I wonder if they could even live like side by side. So we are using the add event dialog, which is the modal. The top bar, we're using a matte toolbar and a matte icon. And the view okay. event component is the same as the modal. So it's really just this one editing events thing that we're using material on the top bar. OK, yeah, I mean, let's, uh, let's go ahead and try that component then. Um, so I like that dial. That's really let's see what slick. this is real quick. Mm -hmm. There's a um, NGX material time picker.
Okay, it's the same thing. Okay. So, wow, this is so hard to read. Oh, here's a 24 hour format. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Okay, so. NGX material, Tim Picker. NGX material is what we're using. Oh, no, it's actually. Uh, no, I think we it, it might be able to coexist with uh, material. Okay. Okay. So how is that going to work then, uh, like on the ad event? Because mm -hmm. we're going to do like a modal on a modal. Oh, yeah. And we can do it. It's just bad practice. It is. Um... And unless you can embed it, but that's going to be kind of weird. Wow. Why is this? Is this hard to read for you? Everything is like so lightly colored. It, it is pretty hard to read. Oh, that's interesting. So if you click on the little clock icon, does it pop up? Yeah. So we could do something like that for the ad event. Mm -hmm. And then for if uh, for the edit, then we could uh, have both, I guess. So mean? like uh, so like the ad event would be what you see there minus the clock symbol. Mm -hmm. And then on the edit page, it would be this with the clock symbol. So then when you click the clock, it would open the... Oh, I see. Yeah. Because that way we avoid the double modals. Right. Yeah, so here's one. Here's one that doesn't have the... Um, oh, and you can type the time too. See, this is so much better than what we have. <laughs> I know. Why did we not see this before? I don't know. I don't think we looked. Uh, oh well. Whoops. <clears throat> Lesson learned. Yeah. So the it's one probably thing is, already done is how mobile friendly is this? I guess it's probably not too bad. Uh, probably not. I mean, we could try it out real quick, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's do it. All right. I will, uh, while you work on that, I'm going to try this out on my phone. Okay. Lots of typing. Pretty I'm sure good. there's an easier way to do this, but. Oops, totally mistyped that. Yeah, on mobile it's actually pretty nice. Okay, cool. I'm just uh, oh nice. I like that the uh, I like that the uh, AM PM switcher is like right in the the dialog. Um. Yeah, this is really nice. I like this a lot. Okay, cool. Good job, whoever made this. <laughs> Okay, I just rearranged our imports a little, so it's uh, it's like third-party stuff, our mm -hmm. components, and then our services. Okay, giggles. that's fine. Okay, so um, I saw, sorry, I saw view component mixed in with the services. I did. Yeah, did thirty. Ah, thank you. And also twenty-eight, but that's probably gonna go away. Time selected. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, sorry. It's okay. Uh, all right, so I've already deleted time selector. Time selector. Pew. Okay, so this guy, <clears throat> the ad event dialog, is now going to have 
this. Control only, true. So how do we how do we pass like a model or something? Uh, you can yeah. Oh, no, that's just the HTML. Um, hmm. Value. Is there I think value? I just saw it. Yeah. Um, oh, there's no line numbers. Yep. Okay. Uh, right there. Yeah. Oh, so okay. I I bet moment would give it give that format to us pretty easily. Okay. Um. Okay, so it's the string. I wonder if it has to be that string or that string format. Um, it's a good question. It'd be nice if uh, instead of the example, oh wait, let's see the documentation here. Value string. So it's the default time and value for the time picker. The format of the time is in the 12 hour notation or in 24 hour notation. A date string won't work. Okay. Okay. And we can either pass in 12 or 24 hour. Okay. I think, I mean, either way is fine. I think it'd be easier just to do 24, but. Yeah. Okay, so we need it to be calendar event dot start date dot format. All right. So it's uh, two double H's colon uh, two little M's. Um, how do we get the twenty four hour format though? Oh, that is twenty four hour format. Oh, is it? Okay. Yep, the capital H is twenty four hours, and the little H is twelve. Ah, uh, okay. All right, so then, oh. What are you doing? Random things. Oh. Okay, so instead of this times, oh, actually, we need the whole thing, don't we? Okay. All right. Um, let's delete it, whatever. Okay, and this random class doesn't matter, so we actually probably don't even need the div. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Sure. It looks like an error. Object is not a function. Uh, okay. I think I need to remove the rest of the references to the time whatever thing. Time selector. I don't. Was that the error? No. I thought it was. But I do need to do that. I wonder. Oh, hmm. Okay, so it's in this component. So I'm not passing something, or I'm passing something weird. Um, actually, or you're not passing in, because like in the examples, they're setting the NGX time picker. Right, oh, and it's default. set equal oh, okay. to a default value. I don't know what that does. Is that oh, I see what it is. So on the following line, you're giving it like the, the hash name. Okay. Oh wait, I don't see. I'm sorry. Hash okay, so uh, go back to your go back to the code. Mm -hmm. So uh, the time picker, you need to give it like a. Okay. Yeah, this is not not right at all. Uh, so you have the uh, actually. Let's go. Actually, where did you get this? Is NGX it, time picker field. Is it field. just a calendar event? Is that what I'm passing in? No. Time picker. Are we looking at the same one? 
Material time picker. Yeah. Uh, can you go to the demo page on GitHub? Yeah. And then uh, go ahead and view source on this top one. And then uh, look at the 511 copy, the oh, input. Oh, okay. Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I both of these. Yes. But the, um, okay. oh, it's because I copied this. This is the um, control only. Oh, which we do want for... for this one, the add event dialog. Yeah. Okay. But I wonder if you're going to need something to attach it to yeah so if you scroll up just a little bit you see like the 2311 up there yeah with yeah can you view the source for this so default time and we did value so i think we need to say well although this is it, for the ad and it needs to be tied to something too so that when i change this it updates some sort of object yeah no you're right you're right i don't know how that happens these are very simple examples. They are. So here's how to use it, but you can't get the value. Okay. Um, well, that's weird. So I, I wonder if what you do is like at the very top mm -hmm. uh, of that demo page, there's uh, it shows like an input field and then there's an attribute NGX time picker. Yeah. You assign that equal to the. Uh, I, I I don't know what it's called. It like on on a component you could do like a, a hashtag with a, a yeah, name, like the name after it. Yeah. Yeah. So then uh, here, like let me I'll link this not link it, but I'll paste it into the group chat again. And that's horribly formatted. Does Twitch support the? Uh, it does not. Oh, like um, the code formatting. I don't think so. No, it totally does not. Yeah, so the the first one is we need like an input field, uh -huh. and then you see like the ngx time picker. Yeah. Equals default value on the uh, time pick the ngx material time picker. There's the hash default value. So I think that's how you link them together. Okay. So where did you see that? Uh, that's back on the demo page again. Okay, I'll open that again. And it's the the top block of examples. Yeah, view source, and that's the third one. Okay, yeah. So there's the hashtag default value. Okay, right. That makes sense. This input, I assume. is that's this just the text here 5 mm -hmm. 11 p.m yeah and then this okay i see okay so oh you know what else look at the value there's uh tick marks in there yeah it's a string yeah i don't think we did that for ours um, this outputs a string. Yeah, but... Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Okay. I mean, okay, so this, this gives us an input, and when we click on the input, it pops open a modal with an NGX material mm -hmm. time picker. Yeah. That's not really what we want here, though. Uh, not, not here, but I'm, In the other this is, I'm thinking, uh, this is how you would tie it together. You would still need the control only, mm -hmm. uh, like we have, I, I think it's control only. Okay. So I'm thinking let's maybe, uh, we could start with one, we'll add an input field, tie them together and see how that works. Okay. Let, let's start. Um, okay. Let's start with the view event component then, because this is what we okay. actually want to do for that. Sure. Um, all right, so I'll just copy this one. Oopsies. Okay, so this guy 
see, I wonder if it's supposed to be a value of our start date or if, like, there's some sort of model that it's tied to. Because this, the value isn't really. Oh, right. Maybe we actually, what we need to do is have this, but then have some sort of change detection that, like, saves down the value. Because I did see some events. Um... Here we go. Emits after time picker was opened, after closed, after hours selected, once time is changed. Time changed, that's... So okay. maybe we're supposed to listen for this? Seems kind of... Oh, it feels like it's heavy-handed, but... Yeah. Like, why can you not just tie it to a model and mm -hmm. be done? I can kind of understand why, because... Um... It's not tied to a date, or it doesn't take a date as an input. It takes like a string. So if you have a date field, you can't update it by changing the string, right? We have to like do something to the date object to turn it into a string to pass right. this thing. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, if that's that's what they want, then it's very hard to tell it. what they want because the documentation yeah. isn't very clear. No. Huh. Or, yeah. Okay, so. My cat just came in. Um, okay. So, so my cat's right behind me. Value. So let's tie this to uh, um, start time picker. Okay. And the value is going to be this dot start date dot format like so okay and then should we just start with that and see that it renders and all that okay let me replace this other one because it's also sure. using time selector and I'll just throw it I don't think you need that div class do you oh I don't And time picker. Okay. So I think we should be good there. This thing at least isn't using uh, time picker. What did we call it? Time selector? Time selector, yeah. Okay, I don't think there's any more references to time selector. So I think the build should be okay. Okay. The question is, does this still blow up? And it looks like yes. Hmm. It's under app component. So oh, it's an app module. Yep. Do we need like for root or something like that? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I know sometimes you do. Oh, set locale. I totally oh. didn't uh well, it says it's ENUS locale by default. Oh, internal, okay, right. Put that. Hmm. So object is not a function. That's on what line is that? Thirteen. I was thinking for the app component, line 13. Oh. But, uh, okay, so that's 41. So I guess, can you breakpoint there and let's just maybe take a look? Yeah. So provided in root. So object is not a function. So is it? Provided. Yes. Injector. What was what was that function that we're calling here? That is that ee define inject injectable. It's really hard to read. Yeah, it is. Oh, because you're. Well, I'm I'm actually looking at uh, the stream, so it should be clearer. But my old van eyes just can't take it. 
Yeah, so EE define injectable is an object. They're so it is not a function. From Angular okay. core. What version of Angular does this require? I wonder. Oh, if... yeah, because we're on 7, aren't we? Yeah. It says Angular 6 plus. Okay. Hmm. The heck. Um. And we are on Angular 7, or, or is yeah, it 8? 7. OK. There's actually an issue that says it's not compatible with uh, Angular 9. And 8. Oh, okay. So now he's saying that it works with Angular 9.1.0 and Material 9.2. Um, Maybe we need to throw four root on there? We could try it. Um, I forget how to do that. Is it just like... Dot four root, I think. Or maybe not. Maybe it doesn't support it. I don't know. Interesting. OK, so. There's this comment or this issue, mm -hmm. and it says that you should use less than four for uh, the time picker. Angular less than four? Uh, no, the time picker. So it says problem with Angular 7, and the error is very similar to what we're having. OK. So what, is, what do you mean by use, use less than four? Oh, so basically, we need, number? yeah. So I think uh, the latest is like 551 or something. Okay. So either we downgrade material time picker or we upgrade Angular, I think. Ugh. Okay, let's yeah. just downgrade material time picker for now. Yeah. Uh, so go look at the releases. Where? Uh, it's like the middle tab. You see like commits, branches, packages, okay. releases. Wait, what? What are we looking at this? This is weird. Like I swear it said that it was uh NGX material time. Yeah, this is weird. Oh, but that was released in 2018. Yeah. Am I Can on like they... a weird old NGX material time picker? I think so. I wonder if they can release to uh, to NPM without releasing to GitHub. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know why they would. Yeah, it's kind of strange. Um, this one says specifically Angular 7, Material 7, Material Time Picker Module. Let's see what it looks like. OK. Yeah, so I, I take back my comment that this uh, the author of that package is, is awesome. <laughs> okay. Um, seems a little busy, but yeah. 
Is there like a 12 hour version, I wonder? I mean, I guess it's fine. Is there a version with no um, no time selector, I wonder, as well? Their demo doesn't seem to show that. No. Well, OK, so do you want to just try doing like npm install 3.x? Yeah. OK. Um, at 3. Dot... 3.x, I think. Like that? Yeah, I think so. So that should use the latest version of 3. OK. Wow. Look at all those vulnerabilities. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we're at, <clears throat> excuse me, 3.3.1. Okay. Let's take a look here. Time. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to close some stuff here. And Hopefully the, oh gosh. Can't bind a value. Since yeah. it isn't an no open. Okay. okay. Yeah. So let me take value out. Okay. Um, hmm. Oh, value is in both of them. So what are we supposed to bind to? Ugh, now do we have to like look up their old documentation and stuff too? Yeah, I think we do. Okay. This is not worth it anymore. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay. Why? What the heck? This is dumb. Well, that's too bad. My spaceport is really sticky for some reason. Spacebar. Um. We could try this. What is that? I think it's just part of the regular Angular material package, maybe. Uh, you can try it. I don't think they actually have a, a time picker, though. No, but it might just be like an input, like a time input or a text input, and then we could just use that for now. Sure. It's fine. Okay. Or what is this? Okay, this is the one we were on. Sure. Okay, so yeah, if we want to use this uh, that time picker thing, we have to be on a, at least Angular eight. Okay. Maybe maybe one day we can uh, upgrade to that. I guess. Yeah. Um. So am I just using an ng model, I guess? Oopsies. I spilled uh, beer on my keyboard last night, and I think it has traveled down to my space bar, and now it's like... Oh, no. Like a, it's not sticky, but it's like slow to push in. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Bad. Well, it's bad compared to the rest of my keys on my nice mechanical keyboard. Put it in a uh, in a tub of hot water with soap. Yeah. Oopsies. No, don't do that. <laughs> that would be very bad. It would. All right, so I'll get rid of these guys. I'm going to get rid of them from here. And I'm going to get rid of all references to this thing. Oh, 
Okay. All right. Let's just see what this looks like. Oh, AM, PM. Okay. This isn't that bad. Oh. Oh, wait, that's a date. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could do that for now, but in, I mean, in, in a way that would support the uh, the range. Yeah. All right, I'm going to throw some padding on here. This is a little ridiculous. Um, yeah, <laughs> I thought that was okay. Yeah, that's good. Actually, let's look here. So for the owner... Edit form. All right, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Or maybe we should just put it in the center of the page. I don't know. Um. Well, okay, so let's not worry too much about styling okay. now. Yeah, it just needs to be usable, I guess. Yeah. So I feel like uh I feel like that might change once we change the component. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't think NG model is working. So let's look up the documentation on this guy. Sure. So I added a card for the uh, time picker and also to upgrade Angular. Okay. Cool. So it takes a value, oopsies. It has a change event and input. Okay, it looks like it's just a date string. Okay. So you can't do like the the ng model banana in a box type it thing. Looks like I can't. Huh. Which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah. Um, is there a way to get just like a regular ISO string format for a moment? I wonder if the two string of, of the moment is good enough? Uh, it could be. Let's try that. And then I think we have to hook into the change event in order to update the, the dates after. Looks like did, that did not work. I feel like, uh, I feel like if we're struggling with this now, then we're going to struggle again later once we switch out to a different, uh, different component. Like, I don't know. Yeah. So I sort of wonder if we should bite the bullet and just try to upgrade Angular to eight. We could, we could do that like next week. Yeah. Okay. So then I mean, what should we do now? Well, I just want to keep plugging like away that. on this. Yeah. Yeah, I know. We, we like did nothing <laughs> for the stream. Uh, oopsies. Oh, I am 
Well, I guess we didn't really do nothing. I, we decided that we uh, we want to change the uh, time selector component. True. And we have an idea of what we want. We just now know that we need to to update some of our dependencies. Access to that. So, what does this look like? Okay, so that's the string that I want, I believe. Kind of. Is it? Yeah, it is. It's just in. It's in local time instead of Zulu, which I think is probably okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm passing that to this component. Does it identify as Zulu? Um, so I thought I saw like a Z at the end there. So if it says it's lo it's in local time, but it identifies as Zulu, then I think that's bad. Well, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not giving me any date or time. No. Oh, okay. It's not quite the same format exactly date time local oh, oh it is a date time local okay well what if i just do this So how is that going to work, though? Because I don't think there is the AM or PM on that format. Oh, you're right. And you could uppercase the H's, and then maybe it'll, it'll hmm. work. I don't know. Well, it doesn't seem to be pre-populating any sort of date. Yeah. I wonder if uh if we should just call it. Yeah. Come back to this next week. Yeah. I mean it's unfortunate that it has to end this way, but uh <laughs> yeah. I, I think we learned a, a few things. Um Yep. Alrighty. So, yeah. Not the most productive stream, but I think uh yep, you're right, we learned some stuff and uh next week. When we uh, take a couple minutes to remember what we've done, uh, yeah. <laughs> we yeah. can well, relive our misery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, that'll be so, fun. Uh, join us again next week. Uh, we might actually get something done. Yeah, uh, hopefully. Hopefully streaming uh, Monday yeah. at 7 p.m. Central again. Yep. And uh, see you next time. All right. See you.